Two, pinned chat. Oh. I think we are live. We're live. Oh, we're live. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Enjoy. Enjoy the show. Hi, everybody. We just... There's no music. <laughs> hey, everyone. It's James. And Stephanie. And we're coming to you live from the Winnebago booth at the Sea Otter Bike Festival. Now, yes. we've been coming here. You, you gave me the year. Okay, and I was, it was shocked. The first time we came here was 2018. Wow. So, so and we've like been coming six. almost every year. In the COVID year, they didn't have it. Yeah. And, uh, I think it was one year we missed. Yeah. But we've become yeah. a pretty right. And Winnebago has been here as a sponsor yeah. the whole time. And yeah. we, we got into RVing because of cycling yeah, years ago. That is, is why. Thing. We got our first RV. Right, right. There's um, back when James was doing weekend events, there would be long lines at the Porta Johns. Events would start really early in the morning. It would be super cold, and we were waiting. We thought we, and, we thought we were brilliant. Yeah, we were waiting in one of those lines one morning, and that's when we one of us got the idea. You know, we could get some sort of van that had our own bathroom in it. And. We, and back when we started doing that, and that's more years ago than I want to remember, yeah. but, but we were, we'd go to a bike <laughs> events and we'd be the only RV there. But now that is not the case. That's anymore. true. It's definitely evolved. It's interesting to see how cyclists have picked up RVing and they've discovered that it, they mesh so well together. Yeah. And there's so many people here at Sea Otter who are, who are camping all around the hills of sea otter we're up in one of the hills ourselves there's parties every night up on the hills around sea otter and it's been a really every day at the time. end of the show you have to get on your bike and climb back up the hill to the campsite yeah. anyway but winnebago is the only rv manufacturer here yes and they've been a proud sponsor of sea otter for yeah. a long long time yeah and we love that they've been coming to the events supporting cyclists and they've brought a bunch of their rvs that have space to transport bikes and so that's why we thought we'd go live today from the booth we wanted to show you the different winnebago rvs that are here and talk about where are you going to store your bikes? Yeah, that's the game. Where do the bikes go? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, for each RV, where can you put, and how many bikes can you put in? You know, which of these can you get the most bikes in? It might not be the biggest RV that's here. That or it, or it might be if you wanted to just pile them on the bed and stuff. Well, maybe we should make a rule that you have to still be able to sleep in the RV mm. to transport bikes. That makes that makes it tougher. Yeah, that makes it tougher. Yeah. Anyway, Winnebago has one, two, three, four, five, six different RVs here. So we're just going to start wandering through them, I guess. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. And our friend Kenny, Kenny, come over here. Ken, I don't know, you guys know Kenny from Moving Forward Adventures? This is Kenny. Hey, everybody. He's also hanging out here with us. And he's going to let us know if there's any questions. He's going to throw them out at us. So feel You've free to. Sabrina, hey, Sabrina <laughs> they're together. Make sure you follow them as well. They're here Somebody with us. Somebody wants to know, are you going to make it a musical? Oh. <laughs> Ooh. So C if I if I if I find if I find a reason to burst into song, I will. We'll oh just we'll just go with Don't that. Tempt them. <laughs> and Callie says it was very nice meeting both of you guys yesterday. Oh, oh right. On. Somebody was here and they're already back watching again. Awesome. Wow. All right. Thanks. Okay. All right. So let's take Claude. The... Claude's here. Hey, Claude. Oh, Claude. Hey. Claude was just at the show yesterday. All right, so I'm just going to grab this. Right on. All right, so which one And I'm going to turn this around, and you're going to take the first one. So. Oh, okay. There we go. There's Wait, James. it's me. There. Okay. <laughs> well, I think we should start at the Echo. Let's we'll start at the Echo. Echo. All right. Easiest so, one because we know it the best. So the Echo that they brought is the Sprinter Echo, which you all know just recently launched, and we're really excited about it. It's a little bit different than the Transit Echo in that it's a bit longer. We got some people checking it out here. We got a little guy checking it out. So what what did you think of this rig? Any thoughts? It's really cool. Um, it's, I like how there's different beds in the back, especially if you have little kids, it makes it easier. Yeah. So. There's actually an option on these that you can get a pop top and then there's a bed up on top with incredible views out of it. So a lot of people who buy this one get the one with the pop top for kids. Yeah, that would be really cool. He loves stuff like that. Well, let's let's go in and take a look. All right. Really quick. Oh, he's welcome to stay in there too. The more the that's actually going in. that's actually Quizzing. a great show. <laughs> you can see how many people can fit into this comfortably. All right. So, you all have seen that this has the dyna and this all converts to a bed right here, and then there's the two twin beds in the back. And so 
as far as bikes, you know, the bikes wouldn't go inside any of this living space in here, but this one does have a wonderful gear garage. Uh, if, if, if I were a single person, I would put my bike on the other bed. Oh, that's true. You could get creative and do something like that if you just needed one of the beds. Hey, no, come on in. It's yeah, cool. It's big. Barrier. Come in, let us know what you think of it. This is the Winnebago Echo. Pretty cool, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have we have one of these, but not this floor plan, but one a little bit different. Yeah, with a newborn, I can use one of these now. Huh? Well, you know, it comes with. A, well, you wouldn't put a newborn in a pop top, but it no, but comes with a. You can get one with a pop top. Yeah, and then there's a bed up there that sleeps too. Yeah, because I can't do the tent for like a year or two, right? I'm yeah. Starting to need like uh, Winnebago. There you That's go. That's right. So, are you here racing, or are you no, just no, hanging out? No, no, here as a spectator. Right on. Uh, it's my second time here. Awesome. Uh, it's really, really nice how, how everybody comes out and everyone here yeah. to meet each other and interact. But I bet you, who's this? Yeah, what's your name? Uh, this Hi. is Derek. Hi, uh, Derek. Future biker and RVer, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's uh, one years old. Aw, you little cutie. You don't need that. All right, well, we'll let you guys check out this RV. We're going to go check, go out, check the out the gear garage. garage. That's All where right. the bikes go. Take care. Can you get an air conditioner with the pop top? Yes. Absolutely. Oh, actually, that's a great question. Yeah. So All right. the, the so, air conditioner just moved back a little bit. Isn't yeah. that the deal? So the answer to where do the bikes go? All right, let's start talking about that question. So here's the gear garage. We've got an um, electric bike in there right now just showing. It's got super high handlebars. You have a question. With the pop top, can you still get an air conditioner? Yeah. Yes. yes you can. It, they move it back farther, though. Yeah. So, yeah. And then this also has a bike rack. On the back. back so you can get two you could always do that yeah two that on doesn't the count for the where do the bikes go thing though and you could get two or maybe even more if you're creative you're popping off the woods we get two in ours but if you got pretty creative you could maybe get some more space in there so that that is the echo i'm i'm calling that four bikes what do you think four bikes uh i don't know four uh, if you count the rack i don't want to count the rack though Oh, well, we gotta count the rack, because a lot of them, that's all they have. <laughs> all right, so we'll count, then it's yeah, four. Yeah, we're counting the rack. This four. All right, so now we have a Travato, and this is a Travato G. It's a version, a newer version of the floor plan that we used to have in a Travato. Although, this is orange, ours was yellow. Um, Travato G, nice drop down screen. The seats in here, Winnebago has gone to these sort of automotive style seats in a lot of their uh, a lot of their floor plans. Three point seat belts, which is significant if you're bringing little ones around. And do these also, or this maybe this isn't the Rebel seats yet, but this is kind of the dinette area. Come on inside. This one also has all induction. Induction cooktop, microwave, decent sized fridge. And so the answer to where the bikes go, where we used to put them, is here. Now, if we put in Steph's qualifier of you have to be able to sleep with them, obviously when you flip this bed down, you're not going to be able to fit a bike in there. So the bikes would have to roll forward while you're sleeping, which is a little less convenient. Our, our Travato was special, the bed was higher. You could fit the bikes under there. Of course, then we're sleeping like 18 inches from the ceiling. It was kind of tomb-like. Um, anyway, uh, pretty big bathroom. It's a wet bath. But there you go. So with this one, a bike rack would be probably your and best And there is bet. a bike rack on this one. We can go check that out. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the bike rack on this one. This is... Uh, is it a Winnebago design? I'm not sure. It expands and then you can put bikes on. And if you don't have the bikes in, you can collapse it down. It's not quite as big. So two bikes. So we'll say, uh, I don't know, how many bikes? What, what do you call I'm calling that? that two. Two. Well, you could probably get two inside and not. And but not, could you still sleep? They'd have to, you'd have to move them forward. Yeah, if you move them forward, okay. This is a nice addition since we had our Travato. This, this I really like that. Rug, you could like hose that out when you go. Yeah. Okay, and this All is right. new. Right. I had to build it. 
Yeah, <laughs> I had I had to build this myself, but now it's it's a it's a standard thing. Look, they put a yeah extra store anywhere you can find extra storage in a camper van is just wonderful. Yeah, but so. used to be it just had a solid wall there. Now we got cabinet. I, I dig it. All right. Can cool. you hook up to city water and close doors? Ooh, good question. Thank you for that. Uh, usually, sometimes they put a uh, no. No, I'm going to say not on this one. Interesting. I thought there was usually like a little notch that makes it possible to there close is, this door. No, no, there's not. Okay. So you would not hook up to city water and close the doors. But, Good question. you know, we we never hook up to city water. We never stay hooked up to city water. We always fill our tank. and. True. And, we always uh, use water directly yeah. from our RV's tank. We don't ever use city water except to fill up. And so yeah. to do that just to fill up is not that big of an imposition. Right All right. So that's the Travato. That's two. Let's Steph, go check out another one. You're up. All right. Well, we'll take one of my favorite Winnebago vans, and that's the Solus Pocket. So the thing I especially love about the Pocket is how short it is. I think it's, what, 17 feet? Do I have that right? Yeah, it it's on there? pretty short. Let's go in. Let's check it out. The Pocket is tiny, but it is just wonderful. This whole well, This is like the Swiss space, Army knife floor plan. This is a Swiss Army knife. So this whole, right now you're seeing it sort of set up in a dinette. It's at a show, so it's treated pretty rough here. But this can be a dinette that comes out even farther, so you can seat four yeah, people The table obviously it. just doubles in size. And it can be one long bed. Uh, it can be a sofa. It can be a lounge where James is up front. That kicks up and it can be just a lounge area. So you can sleep two here and then in the pop top you can sleep pop two. Top. Oh, in this look at this. Check it out. Check it out. Space. Check it out. Pop top. <laughs> there's a vent in the pop top. Yeah. I and the thing I love it. about this this pocket is there's even a full bathroom in the back. So you can shower inside, you have a toilet, a dedicated toilet space all in this tiny space. I think it's just a really clever use of space and there's a ton of counter space in this tiny RV. That is, that's actually more counter space than we have in our Echo. Yeah, so I've always been a fan of of the pocket. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What do you think of this one? My favorite is that. Your favorite is the, the Echo. Echo. Okay, yeah. well, we like you then because we own that one. Have you seen it yet? Oh, yeah, we own one. Oh. Yeah. The bathroom. The bathroom with the pivoting wall. What yeah. did you think of that? I think it's, I would buy it for that reason alone. <laughs> yeah. It's genius. It's, yeah. It maximizes your space. It's really and easy. It space. separates the two functions because you clean and then you dispose of bodily waste. They're separated. Yeah, yeah, it's so, two separate spaces. No Would you travel with bikes? Would I? Yeah. Yeah, they have a bike storage in the back. Well, yeah. There we go. You he don't is... have a hitch mount on your back because, like in LA, what they do is they, you stop in traffic, they come up with bolt cutters and while you're stopped in traffic? Yeah. Wow. That's pretty bold. Yeah. So. All right. Well, we think you have good taste in RVs. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm glad of... Right on. All right. So I guess this one for bikes, though, gets challenging with bikes. They would have to be outdoors. You'd have to put a rack on the back. Yeah, the bikes would have to be on a rack. But yeah. we didn't show the bathroom, so. Oh, yeah. Check it out. If you like to uh, do your business al fresco. There you go. <laughs> yep, and there's your. Paul said that this would be great for parents with kids in sporting events as oh, a support yeah. vehicle. It's a safe place to come back to. They have like their own washroom. They're able to make their own food, and the families could just have their own space rather than sharing that shared space at some of these sporting events or You're using the flag. or even using like a porta potty or anything like that. You have your own place. I love that idea. You know, it could. I, I always tell people, like, if I was single, this is the one I would get. But it's not just for single people. Like, that, like you just said, if you have weekend events with your kids, it, it would be a great, a great option for that. So, all right. All right. Let's move on. Let's, we let's got move on to the hike. Three more. Well, the, hike. the hike. Oh, I love the hike. Okay. All your right. Turn. So, I'm not super familiar with this one. Hey! Question. Uh, bed, is that an option? The, the which one? The bed. Is that an option? No, the bed. No, it comes with it. It comes with. Yeah, it comes with. Yeah. So it's able to sleep up to four people. Yeah. What about if you don't if you don't want it? You can remove it. If you don't want it, you could remove it. Yeah. Where there's a will, there's a way. Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> you would you would remove the bed or? There's only two of us and two, two dogs, of you. So we don't, we don't need you would need. Bed. That's the great thing about the Winnebagos is that you can easily modify them Thank you. to yep. work for yourself. Okay. All right. Let's check out the hike and see if there's bike storage. 
Well, there's plenty of freaking bike storage. Okay. How many bikes could you fit in here? How does this work? Does that go like down? Oh, wait, this rolls all the way over. Oh, wait, no, that's not how you do it. <laughs> oh my. And then both of these will pin and you got your tie down hooks down here. You'd be able to get a decent amount of bikes. You guys would know the exact amount. Wow. Look wow, so with space. both of these up, and then the, yeah. the regular bed, just so you all know, it's up at it's the up ceiling. Here. So there's there's the bed up at the ceiling that lowers, and then this all makes one long bed. Or Giant you have table. all this space. Oh, you can set a table in the middle. Wow, so it's, it becomes a large dinette. I'm gonna I'm, come around the back. I'm gonna say six bikes. I, I really, I, I really think you could get like six bikes in oh, yeah, here. Yeah, this is a much better. View. You just drop that. You would. We'd have to fold this down somehow, or drop the bed only to there. Is that how it works? It, it sits right on that resting point. Uh, oh, it rests up there or oh, and then there. there. Yep. So that's how low it comes. In. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna say six bikes. Yeah, this is this, this is the bike move. Without even always. trying too hard, you could get six bikes. In and here. even e-bikes because it does have a nine about a 900 pound cargo capacity. So with that 900, 900 pound cargo capacity. Wow. You've been reading product literature, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So what else do we got in here? We've got... Uh, all right, I'm going to let this go. Okay. Oh, or go not. It. It's Let's just see. Stay Let's there. see how you let here, it go. Put that one down and okay. then I'll let it go. There we go. All right. And that one's just going to stay. Nice. All right, coming around again. All right, we have a wet bath with a cassette toilet. So it's a wet bath. It, right. It's not huge, but it's adequate. All right, let's check it out. Let's see if I can get the toilet. Our viewers love to talk and see the toilets. Oh, and there's a nice skylight for some height. You want to stand in that shower so we can see how much height there is? Okay, I'm five, nine and a half, five ten on a good day. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's plenty of space there. Plenty of space there, but yeah. you're not you're not moving around a lot in here now, you know, because yeah. you got a toilet right there. But it'll get the job done. And then we up behind here we've got we have the galley. Oh, nice oh, check it out, check it out. We got a phone charger thing. Phone charger thing, nice. Phone charger thing. Okay, and then we've got microwave. And in, uh, convection microwave. Some storage. Nice. It also comes with a portable induction cooktop. A portable, a portable induction cook. And if you pull that drawer, that's where you, that's where you would sit your induction cook. They they removed it for the show. Yeah. They didn't want it to go missing. It, it's it's behind this cabinet behind you, actually. The the portable cooktop is behind you, or behind step behind this. All right. Oh. Right in there. Oh, there it is. That's pretty big. Show this closet. All right, working on it. Oh yeah, that is. That is a decent size closet. Fantastic. This would be if you were doing like mult. If you had to bring a lot of bikes. You're doing like multiple events, like you're doing a time trial and a road race and maybe a mountain bike event or gravel. Boom. This is this would be the thing to bring. All right. That's the hike. All right. So okay, moving on. All right. Ke Kenny, will you come with us to check out this yeah. Vista? Yeah. So Kenny, Kenny has a Vista. Yeah. <laughs> Kenny is a Vista owner. Yep. I have a 2016 Vista. Hi there. 28, 28 and a half feet long. This one here is 30 feet long. So once you get it to 30 feet, now we have the option that you can have a dinette and a sofa. This could also be a sofa bed instead of a recliner. You also have your drop down bunk up here that is powered. So between this bed, this turn into a bed, and then bed in the back, easily sleep six people. But how many bikes can it carry? So the bikes are going to be tricky because of your entryway here. Even though this is the largest vehicle on property for bikes inside, if you guys are just talking about inside, I have brought two bikes in and okay. sat them here in the middle of the way. But getting them through your entry door is a little bit on the tricky side. Got it. Okay. Well, come on in, James. Let's let's give All right. a tour. Hey, I found some people in here. Maybe we can ask them what they think too. Hey, what do you think of this RV? It's really cool. It's cool. You, could you see yourself camping in this one? Yeah. All right. He, he could camp in it. Future so RV awesome. owner. Yeah. Future yeah. RVer. In the hike with the sofa folded up, the bed can't come down. I don't think that's true. I think I just didn't know how to fold the sofa up. <laughs> <laughs> Blame that one on me. <laughs> All right. 
right. Well, this, All right, is well, a this, huge bed. this wins for the most comfy looking bed. Wow. So, Kenny, in yours, is the floor plan like this where it so has my, a bed in the back? My bed is facing in a different direction, but very similar. One of the selling points for Sabrina and I were also that Winnebago puts a solid door. Oh, so yes. you actually have separation inside of an RV, which is very important to us because Sabrina does a lot of night shift working. So yeah. while she's sleeping in the day out here, I still have all this space. I still have access to the fridge, fridge the bathroom. Yeah. During the day. Yes. Yeah, we understand that. Even in our Echo, we like that separation of space because James likes to get up hours before I do. Yep. And it's just nice having having that, those barriers <laughs> so we each have our space and then also with a class a of course you're going to get a full-size bathroom shower uh, let's check it out 70, yeah. 71 gallons out. of fresh water 60 gallon of gray water and 40 gallons of black tank so you know enough water to go off grid two people for seven days oh so that's you, awesome you've been here with us so you can't really fill up with the water here at uh at sea otter at the Laguna Seca Raceway, they advise you not to fill right, up with the water. Right. So having those large tanks yeah. is particularly it's important. Been handy. Yeah. Yeah. Even, yeah. Even for us, you know, traveling across the country a lot of times, we'll fill up before we leave the house. We can go three, four nights easy without having to stop at a rest or without having to stop at a campground every single night. We can easily stop at the Flying J's, the rest areas, the Walmarts. Yeah and continue to just keep on traveling and not waste our time pulling into a campsite, hooking up, and we can get across the country very quickly that way. Yeah. Well, how does it drive? I've never driven a Class A like this, so that's one of the so, things I would love to know. Driving wise, Hello. You can easily We're spend forward. eight, ten hours in a driving seat of one of these and be perfectly fine. And Wait, I'm going to sit in the driver's seat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here's the view. The windows are so big and incredible. The great thing that Winnebago is doing now, it's a standard feature in all Class A motorhomes, is this box right here, James, if you want to take a look right at that. this? Yep. So that is like a confident and comfort package in the fact that it's giving you adaptive cruise while driving, oh, which is very okay. new for Class okay. A motorhomes. Nice. It's also giving you lane monitoring. Uh, it's also giving you brake assist. If somebody were to stop quickly in front of you, the brakes will kick on automatically and start to slow you down. Uh, and that's new for Winnebago. It's called their confidence package, and it's standard now in all Class A gas motorhomes for Winnebago. Well, I know we went from our Travato that didn't have any lane assist or mm -hmm. adaptive cruise control to our new Winnebago Echo that has it, and it's just like game changer for yeah. me. I just love it. It makes it a lot more comfortable to drive. I just, I'm, I'm, I like the amount <laughs> You're of really glass, enjoying the didn't view. you? Wow. <laughs> so I like to say, looking out the front windshield of our Vista anyway, I look at it as almost a movie theater. Yeah. And it's... America is playing on it. We see the most interesting sights out this front windshield while we're, you know, cross country the, the That's US. incredible. You have yeah. a broken one? We have. Ooh. So insurance on these windshields is very important. You want to make sure that if you're purchasing one and you talk to your insurance company, what their coverage is. So for us to replace one, it was under $500. In fact, at the wow. time when we broke it, it was in Florida. And Florida replaced it, uh, I believe, almost for free, almost maybe a $100 deductible. Wow. If you were to pay out of pocket, it's about a $5,000 windshield oh, replacement. Gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, all right. So be sure Beautiful to windshield. <laughs> Buy insurance. Yes. <laughs> so I know you have bikes. You yeah, have two yeah, e-bikes. E so where do you, are they inside no, this space? So this, this floor model is a little different than okay. ours. Our Winnebago Class A, it's a 27N, which unfortunately they don't make anymore, oh. has enough. We have a gear garage similar to the Echo, oh. and we can fold up both our e-bikes and put them in okay. the back. I also carry an extra 10 gallons of water with us if we're going to be boondocking. I also keep all my tools back there. It is a significant... It's big. It's big. Yeah. All right. And a follow-up question on the windshield thing. Will Safe Flight replace those, or do you have to go someplace special? So Safe Flight will do repairs on them. So they'll come out, and they can fix chips and stuff like that. Uh, we personally took ours back to Winnebago to have them do it. I mm. don't know if Safe Flight, I don't believe Safe Flight does a windshield replacement, just repair. Okay. 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 So let's get creative and figure out where we would put bikes <laughs> if this, because there's no storage outside that would allow bikes no, in this one, right? No. So, so if, you, if you're counting the rack, a rack or a hitch, hello. What, you, what did you think of the RV? Oh, he, he asked me to buy it for him. Okay. Oh, <laughs> smart, smart little boy. Sign him up. 
there's definitely a comfort level to a Class A motorhome, right? It's, it's almost like an apartment on wheels or a small condo on yeah. wheels. Yeah. Um, you get, I always say, the, the best bang for your buck. You know, they're selling this one for $159,000. You get a lot of vehicle for your money. Yeah. Yeah. So, but for bikes, you could... I, I mean, think you're just putting two in the aisle. Serious, two, yeah. two in the aisle. Or, I mean, you could get really creative. Well, now remember, that slide's going to slide. come in. Oh, the slide. The slides always get me. Yeah, they the slides they trick me. In. I know James like tape measures. So yes. 21 and a half inches, From, the slide is on coming. Okay. Oh, wow. So, so yeah. Still, but you'd still be able to pass through to get to the bathroom, yep. like when yeah, you're yeah, driving. You if you put the bikes front to back, you could still, you could yeah, still pass get through. get them in. All right, All right, let's go. We got one more, I believe, right? Just the Revel, last but definitely not least. You girls want to go walk? All right, you want to hold this? I, I can do the Revel. Yes. Okay, we're here yes. at the Revel. All right, the Revel's kind of popular, so we may have trouble getting in. So let's start at the back because that's open right now. So obviously, where do the bikes go? It's here. Depending on how bad you want it. Hey, depending on how bad you, how many bikes do you think you could get under here? Uh, I'm going to say three, no problem. Four, yeah. maybe. I was going to say three. Maybe four. All right, three, maybe four. Are you here racing? Yeah. What's your name? Here, hang up. Let me do this. All right, you're here, right? Your name is? Leland. And what did you race? I'm going to race uh, cross country. Cross country, right on. Yeah. Tomorrow. Are you here in an RV? No. You're just camping? You get a tent or you're Ho in a hotel? Hotel. Okay. Wouldn't it be cool to be here just camping? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so how long have you been riding cross country and racing cross country? Four years? How old are you? Eleven. So you've been racing since you were seven? Yeah. So you're going to be much better than on I ever was. <laughs> right on. We Enjoy the... We budget safer. Yeah, stay safer. Enjoy the show and good luck tomorrow. And make sure your dad buys you a Revel. <laughs> All, right. All right. So three bikes, we agree on three bikes. Four maybe if you really wanted to take your time and position them in here. And this is a perfectly legit place to put the bike and that's probably enough room for the bikes to not impact the bed. And so you could, you could sleep up there. You might have to do something with these side cushions to make it a little taller so that you had the wider bed space, but that is definitely enough room for bikes. So that's the Revel, that's the Gear Garage. Now this is the newest iteration of the Revel. So my favorite thing about the, the new Revel is the power system, but I've got whole videos on that. I'm not gonna go into all that again, but it's, it's can I say bitching in a live video? It's pretty cool. Let's just say that. That's the back, the front's cleared out. Let's head up front. All right, when you're looking at the Revel, you can come in, I'll back up. One thing you need to remember about the Revel, it's on a short sprinter. This is not one of those extended 24, 25 foot long sprinters. This is on a shorty sprinter. And if you can get four bikes, two racers in a 24 foot sprinter, it's all wheel drive. So you can get to wherever it is you need to go. Dinette seating, now that table does raise. It's, it's pretty low right now, but the table does raise. And so in this row of seating, this is what, the, what I was talking about before. They've modified these seats this year so they slide and recline. And Maybe this is the part you could sing for us, right? <laughs> no. Aren't they no. translatable this is, this is the musical. from the music video? Yes, yes. The second row of seating both reclines and is translatable. Um, oh, that wasn't, you didn't sing it. It was not it. singing. Well, I'm trapped behind the thing now. Get those back in. Right. No, I'm not going to sing about the <laughs> Rebel. Was... Hello. Hey, check it out. What do you think of this RV? Good. It's good? Yeah, well, you hear it, heard it from... What's your name? Right here. Yeah. Tony? Timmy. 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 Timmy digs the Rebel. Um, what else can we say about the yeah. Rebel? Okay. Come around here, and you can just look in there. Okay. This is another Try Revel feature, it. is the bathroom slash closet. 
A lot of people, when they did the original concept vehicle for the Rebel way back when, said, why do you even have a bathroom in there? We'll use the bathroom someplace else. And so the Rebel has these. I'm going to clip this back on. The Rebel has these things, which you can use to make this basically a big closet. James, you got a question in the back of the Rebel. What was behind the black blank, ah, the blank black plate on the bulkhead of the door? The blank black plate on the bulkhead of the door? We're going to go check it out. I don't know. Because now I'm curious. Let's figure out what you're asking. <laughs> blank black plate this one. oh by the door this one or or these i don't know by the front slider sorry front Over slider here. what's behind this yeah that's a, do plumbing we this one? plumbing bits zooming in on so there's drains there shouldn't be any water in this now but i mean we could oh no, that would higher. be the screen higher this oh this Maybe is fun table? This is, this is like a scavenger hunt. <laughs> yeah, it's like a scavenger hunt. Okay, it's like bowling something. behind a curtain. Like some, you got one. <laughs> so this is the table. The thing with this table is it is adjustable. So if you're parked and you're not level, you can adjust the table to be level. Enter door, stand up. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get this. So we're gonna find it. Not so we're gonna <laughs> talk about. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, are you talking about above the seats? Back left. Is this. It? Oh, okay, that right little now. panel? Yeah. Oh, heck, I don't know. It's probably Let's just see. an access panel to get to the back side of these switches. By the switches. Yeah, I don't know what's behind there. We got it. Yes, that's the one. Yeah. Don't know. Will it's you open that? Oh, you can't, ca you can't no, see you anything can't, you can't you see that cabinet. It. No, it's walled off on this side. This is just a utility space. There's going to be wiring and other sort of stuff like that in there. So that's just... There are probably some wire connectors in there, something like that, maybe a fuse for the solar panels, I don't know. But that's just an access panel to get to what's back there because you wouldn't want to get to it from in here because this is all covered with carpet and kind of nice. And so... They said, thanks for playing. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for playing, I love it. It was fun to play. Okay, and... All right, stepping back out. That's the Rebel, so three, maybe four bikes in the Rebel. All right. Do you know, will it support the Winnebago Connect? Not yet. I'm pretty sure that the Winnebago Connect app is eventually going to make it to, I mean, I'm not officially speaking for Winnebago, this is just James guessing, but the Winnebago Connect app will most likely eventually make it to their entire product line. For right now, this has a monitor panel that is synced up tightly with the EcoFlow unit, so that's what it's got right now. Okay. I think that's all the, we've seen all the RVs now, so let's head back around. So yeah, this is definitely a unique event for Winnebago because look at all these bikes. These bikes are just out front. People leave their bikes here and then they come into the booth and they walk around and check out our, all the RVs. We got a helicopter flying up above, checking it all out. And here are the Winnebago ladies. No, they're Winnebagans. Oh, the Winnebagans. Winnebaganettes. <laughs> And you all are giving some stuff away. Actually, show the coloring book. I just love this coloring book. So one of the things they're giving away is these coloring pages to the children. And it's all these cute pictures of different Winnebago products. I just love this. I'm going to take a couple for our grandkids because they're super cute. And you've also been giving away stickers and koozies. And so you've had a lot of activity here in the booth. Come get your swag. Lenny Kravitz. All right, and there's good music playing too. Now you can sing. No. <laughs> so, and, and nearby us, we've got things like 101 Bike, we got Rock Bros. There's everybody who's anybody in the bike space is here. All right. Did you guys Hi. pick a winner? Did we pick a winner? Or as far as who could fit the most? The most bikes? I'm going to say the hike. Turn it around. There the we hike. Go. As far as carrying the most bikes, I'm going to say the hike is, is the winner for bringing to a bike event where you've got multiple people, multiple cyclists, multiple bikes. Well, and plus it lets you stay small. So if you're taking it to like a trailhead or something and you're setting up your bike and you know, space is more of a concern, the yeah. hike is nice and small. Yeah, and then you have, a, you have your tow vehicle to drive around in. That's also... Yeah, yeah, so, that's 
that's another great point. Yeah, all right, I'm, I'm giving the hike the, the, the win for here the most at the bike event, for the most bikes. Yeah, but I think we're gonna stick with our Echo yeah, <laughs> out I'm, of all of them. We're, we're, not, we're, not, we're not moving, but <laughs> the hike gets more bikes. All right. All right, well, I think that's kind of it. You've had the tour of the Winnebago booth. So all you cyclists, if you've never done Sea Otter, put this event on your radar. It's a really fun time. If you're into bikes, you can nerd out. You can get lots of deals on products here. Lots of here. swag. Lots yeah. of, of bike swag over in the expo yeah. area. And you can even be walking by booths, and there will be free cake. Like yesterday, Avis was giving away. It was their 100. It was their <laughs> I'm surprised you. I'm surprised you let people know that you, you took the free cake. I mean, it was a tiny slice. It's all about balance, right? You gotta, you gotta live. You gotta live and treat yourself every once in a while. All right. But anyway, so from Sea Otter, it's been Stephen James, and thanks everybody for watching. It's Bye. been a lot of fun. Bye.